think it's safe to say that anyone that's talked to me for more than five minutes will probably have a deep understanding that my main hobby is my firearms. I love buying them, owning them, collecting them, um, of course shooting them. That's a lot of fun. My most recent acquisition was my AR-15, which I completed um, in December, and I'm very happy with how it turns out. This is a video of me running some rounds through that Middlesex Gun Club. But um, the thing is, a lot of people don't know the actual process of purchasing a firearm. So that's what this video is going to be talking about today, and I hope everyone has a unique understanding of how the process works in Virginia and what exactly is part of that process. So as most of you probably already know, I'm doing my service project at Six Rivers Armory, which is a local gun store here in Virginia, down in Hayes, and uh, they're great, they're a great store, uh, they sell rifles, shotguns, um, a, variety, a variety of long guns, they have a lot in stock usually, um, they also sell handguns, they, they have a really great selection most of the time, and if they don't have it, you can usually order whatever they don't have, and um, they have great service, Randy Green is the owner and operator, and you know, talking to him, I've learned so much more about the gun industry and gun retail. So like I said, Six Rivers has a great selection on everything, including rocket launchers. A great exclusive, buy it for the kids, you know, buy it for the wife, it's a great gift around the holidays. All joking aside, let's say that you walk into a gun store and you want to buy this AR-15 on the wall right here. The first thing you're going to be handed is the ATF Form 4473. The ATF Form 4473 is not a federal background check, nor is it the catch-all document that must be filled out to purchase a firearm. Instead, it is the legal affidavit of the seller that says that they were selling a firearm to someone that is actually allowed to buy a firearm. Lying on the ATF Form 4473 is a federal felony and can be punished by up to five years in prison. The seller must also hold on to the form for at least 20 years and also surrender all ATF Form 4473s under their ownership to the ATF after their retirement. Along with asking for basic information about the buyer of the firearm, along with the firearm being bought, the ATF Form 4473 has a list of questions that have to be answered either yes or no. If you answer no to any of the questions under number 11 on the ATF Form 4473, you are not going to be allowed to buy the firearm. There are a few exceptions to this rule, but for normal citizens, this usually is not the case. The second part of the process is filling out the Virginia Firearms Transaction Record, which is sent to the Department of State Police electronically. Um, this also has a, a section of questions as well, but it is not to the extent of the 4473, um, but it is in requirement with Virginia state law and not federal law, like the 4473 is. After being cleared by the Department of State Police, Usually the seller is next going to move on to the federal background check system, which is the FBI NICS system. The seller will send the name and other pertinent information of the firearm buyer to the federal system to be ran through multiple federal databases. Someone is going through a background check that spans several different databases. Although the system runs the buyer's info through a large list of federal databases, the process is usually quick and in most cases instantaneous. Although we have a very thorough background system, it's actually very efficient and very quick. Because of the speed and efficiency, if you're a law-abiding citizen that meets all the requirements for purchase, you're usually not going to get turned down and can walk out the same day with your new firearm. And that's really how the process works. If you're over 18, if you're buying a long gun, not a felon, and you meet all the necessary requirements, you're not really going to have any problem buying a firearm legally. I hope this video gave you a little bit more understanding about the legal process of buying a firearm and what the paperwork is that goes into it. Even for someone like me who has seen the process in action before, actually being on the other side of the counter as part of this project has really given me more insight and has given me a new angle to look at it from and I have learned a lot more in the process. So thank you for watching guys and I hope the rest of my presentation pans out well. Thank you so much.